Day in the life of a quarantine bodybuilder. Subject matter, bodybuilder. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you today how we are working, we are grinding, and we're gonna show them how we can get a pull session in. Even though we're in quarantine, Boris says don't go out. I for one don't agree with that, but you know, look at his hair. Tell you all you need to know. But anyway, nothing changes before every great pull session is a pre-workout meal. Now obviously the shops are, uh, are shut currently. Well no, they're not shut, but they're just, they're, they're full of working class and I just don't want to go there. There's a little bit of scarcity with food, but I don't see why it needs to change. It'll be just as good. So we'll go with a pre-workout cereal. Obviously a great source of carbohydrates, creating that demand because in this pull session we will be expending glycogen and taxing tissues and we'll be looking at strength curves and resistance profiles and and all of that stuff so pre-workout meal going in so there's almost cereal um i do have some oats in so We'll go with that again it's fine still carbohydrates so so we'll go um we'll go with the oats but yeah it's just as optimal and plus i've got a great pre-workout that's been sent over by inside supplements that's been specifically designed for times of coronavirus which is fantastic it definitely was will make a difference if you do want the stack the um the corona stack um goes below and just use you know i'm taking advantage of corona 10 as a discount so yeah let's get some oats in so just going for these Asda Scottish porridge oats. You can get them from any race. They don't have to be Scottish. You could have them Chinese, probably not Chinese at the minute. So we'll get some in. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any milk, but just as you've seen me before with, um, with pre-workout, when I just take it straight from the tub because I'm hard, um, rather than just putting it with water like normal people, I just put it in my mouth and then have a sip of water, you know. It all goes to make a great pool session. And I, you know, um, I haven't got time today to film myself stirring this in front of watching, uh, you know, JP's website, unfortunately. Um, I would love to do that because, you know, that's, it inspires every session. But yeah, I'm sure this is just gonna taste pretty good. It's a touch dry. I have to get it in. I can't train without it. Marginal gains. Two hours later. I persevere. I make go. Because that's what, what we're all about. Do you want it enough? Do you? <laughs> what are the other competitors going to be saying that we're on stage next year? No one's competing this year. I forgot about that. But I'll be bringing my best yet. Definitely. What's that? We've run out of toilet paper. So, off to brave the shops for supplies because we run out of toilet paper. It's not good, we're not in a good way. And I can't be having, I can't be taking two hours to eat oats every day. So, I've, uh, I've put together a bit of a, a bit of a hazmat suit, a bit of a DIY hazmat suit, because I was getting a little bit cautious about, you know, touching things in public and, you know, I've seen all the Chinese people with the masks on and stuff that I'll just make my own. I'm pretty handy. Um, and I used to be a military man. Anyway, let's have a little look. And um, maybe maybe we'll go for like an outfit of the day on Instagram. Maybe I'll be posting that anyway because it's, it's pretty stylish anyway. So, here we go. So, here it is. Um, I should be pretty well covered to go out in the shop. And I'm sure you agree. It's not too bad. As it goes, I am selling these. Um, and it's Hazmat 10. Um, link below, so I'll turn off to the shop. So, just arrived at the Mecca, about to get a good session in, uh, and I love training here. And obviously, I've I've had my I've had my pre workout, a strong twenty out of twenty again, and it has been designed specifically for this outbreak, I suppose, this infection, and it's got certain things in it. Lots of clinical dosages, um, the clinical dosages of, of, of things in that, compounds in that, just fight off infection, but also give you that that sort of flying feeling that sort of taking drugs and 
and, th and then you get the taste kick in in the end and then it comes through nicely so I've just been listening to a bit of a bit of Solomon on the way basically for those who are worried I am training from home today um, but my pre-workout ritual is just to get in the car um, so I still wanted to do that because mindset is is everything so I'm going to take you through a pull session and we are going to accrue some tissue So, arrived at the Mecca, aka my front room. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more focused in here and then head through to the gym area, um, aka conservatory. it's really important that you are fully equipped um, for maximal uh, hypertrophy. So I've obviously got the knee sleeves on there, um, coat below and the knee sleeves. I've also got my trusty Vibrams on there. I've got straps, occlusion bands, and some cuffs. I've only got one cuff, but we'll make do. Um, I just wanted to show that you can get a fantastic workout in. Um, usually I would have some bands, um, however, I don't have any, um, which is a shame because I was wanting to work in different ranges, short range, length and range, um, you know, all the ranges. But now let's introduce some loading, okay? So, this is what I'm gonna do with on this one. Okay, so camera one. Always look, always look at the camera when setting up. Setting up. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. So it's pretty, pretty tasty. A pretty tasty set. Works right into that short range. Um, got a good stretch extension um, and yeah just just contracted as many fibers we that's what we did we, we just contracted as many fibers in there uh, so even whilst in quarantine you can still get a, an unbelievable session in like that yeah, crazy the amount of intensity I was able to put into that fantastic um, and then there's a myriad of other of other exercises that we can do for back definitely there's definitely lots of exercises Let's try to think of another one. This is another one. Into that short range. Oh, drive those elbows back. Great workout. Create a demand. 200 grams of carbs needed. So, fantastic session at the Mecca. Very good, I'd probably say 30 out of 30 for this one, because it was that good, pretty good. Um, can't wait for a few more sessions down here. Leg day, push day, you know, loads of different days. And yeah, just show that you can get in a fucking fantastic, a fantastic workout, um, even though we are quarantined. So, post-workout meal, now optimal. Um, time to, to to refill, replenish, and uh, we will replenish, we will, we will refill, we will fuel up, um, and we will optimally drive nutrients um, by the use of GULT4 into the cells. Um, obviously, usually post-workout, I'll be having my 200 grams of carbs from, you know, my usual sources, which you've seen, but limited supply uh, as the and unfortunately, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. So I've gone for Jacob's crackers, dry, 
no butter because you want to keep the fats down um, post-workout that's imperative that you keep the fats down post-workout um, and I've actually looked at the uh, dog biscuits and the, the nutrient profile and the panel on those is very very good and it's pretty much all I can get my hands and hands on so um, it just gets down to how much that you want it so that's me signing off more of these even more of these hope you've enjoyed the day of a life for quarantine bodybuilder